Are you also frustrated and confused about how you should make your own resume without any prior experience? Well, I am Sahaj Obroy and I am here to help you. Hey everyone, so I had been getting a lot of DMs on Instagram as well as messages on LinkedIn regarding resume making tips for first year students without any experience. So here I am making a video on this topic and if you also want videos on particular topics just comment down below or what you can do is follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn and message me there I'll definitely reply you. So the traditional way of applying for internships or jobs obviously require a resume. Whereas the new approach doesn't. And if you don't know about the new approach, do check out my new video about getting an internship at your dream startup or dream company. So the link will be somewhere here. So do check that video out. Now coming back to the traditional way by which you make a resume and then apply that on various platforms or you know through LinkedIn. Let me just share my screen once. Alright guys, so I'll be showing you few templates on Canva and I'll also be showing you few websites which you can use to make your own resume. Alright, so the first template is this one. The link to all of these templates will be in the description so don't worry about that. Uh, this one is pretty simple and basic but I don't really like the border much. So you know you what you can do is reduce the border, not completely eliminate it and accordingly adjust all the alignment and simply use this template okay other than this this is one of the templates which i thought of moving on so this is gonna be the template which i'll be using to give you a demonstration about implementing all the tips that i'll be telling you throughout the video and how you can basically create your own resume without any prior work experience so apart from Canva, you can also choose websites like Nova Resume. It's a pretty famous website and you also get a couple of options here. And you can also choose resumebuild.com. You can also choose myperfectresume.com. Even Microsoft Word has various templates regarding resumes. So you can check them out as well. So simply open your Microsoft Word and you will get something like this. Okay. And click on more templates. Then simply search the type of template you are looking for. So in our case, we can simply click on resumes or cover letters or you can simply search resumes as well. Okay. So let me just search it and you will get a lot of templates for resume. So you can, you know, choose any one of them which you really like and simply start with editing the template. So there are a lot of websites through which you can find your perfect template. But the main key points that you should focus on those I'll just now implement on this particular resume. Okay. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll change the yellowish tone of this resume. Yeah, now this looks much better to me. And now simply let's edit it. Alright guys, so I have created this resume, right? And let's just compare this with the previous one, okay? So this was the initial template and I converted it into this thing. Alright guys, so I have created this resume from the perspective of being a computer science student, okay? Or basically a web developer in this case. Now obviously, the tips that I'll be telling you are not only for computer science students, but they are basically generic. So even if you are a graphic designer or marketer, the tips should be the same for you. It's just that you have to fine tune it according to your own field. Okay. Now coming on to the main topic, right? So the changes that I have made to the previous template, okay? what are the changes? So the first one obviously was the color that I changed the color from yellowish tone to white. Okay. Now, after that, what I did was I first of all made the name bolder. Okay. I changed all the fonts and also I made my name bolder and bigger. Okay. Because obviously it's your resume and your name should easily be highlighted on your resume. Okay. Now coming on to the next section, which is skills. Okay. Now in this section, obviously you need to list down every skill that is related to your field of interest. Basically, if you are applying for web development roles, you should mention all those skills which are helpful in 
web development okay now let's assume i also know video editing since i am a youtuber but i am applying for a job role of software developer so how will my experience of being a video editor help in applying for the job of a software developer so only list down the skills that are relevant to the job profile you are applying okay so the next one is education okay so either you can name it education or academic history or academic profile it's completely up to you no hard and fast rule in this it's just a name right so you can name it either way all right so let's name it education only for now all right now in this you have to list down your college name your uh, degree that you are pursuing okay and the year throughout which you had been enrolled to this program okay so i have also added the percentage for my 12th class and 10th class along with their years okay so this comes under the education or academic profile and the next section is get in touch so in this section i have added my contact details as well as my portfolios okay so being a web developer having a portfolio is essential because you can basically show off your web development skills in that portfolio portfolio is basically a website about your own self right and also being a developer you need to have a github account all right and for example you are a graphic designer so what you can put up is your behance account or dribble account or whatever right so according to your own field you can simply add the platforms on which you are you know posting and are related to your own profile okay you can add your address instead of address i'll suggest only to write city because i mean writing the whole address is not really needed because the person will not contact you via uh, letters he will obviously contact you via email or call right so no need for your complete address and again moving on to projects right so project is something which you should really focus on i mean being a developer or let's say you are a graphic designer or you are a video editor right you need to have few projects you need to showcase something you need to show that you already have the skills that you have listed and you are also applying those skills okay so this is really necessary because once you learn the skills it's just theoretical knowledge right once you start making projects it's the actual time when you are applying those skills and when you make the projects you also learn a lot right so listing down the projects are really important and if you notice i have added the project name and then i have also described the project what this project is about and the skills that i have used in this project okay so that is something you should take care of when you mention your projects so let's say you are a video editor so what you can do is you can write the type of video that you have created let's say a youtube video then you can mention the software that you have used like premiere pro or davinci resolve which i currently use for my youtube videos so you can simply mention those uh, softwares okay and graphic designers can add photoshop and apps like that right so this is again very much important because you do not have prior experience right but for an internship you need to have some existing knowledge you have to be good with your existing knowledge and for the employer to know that you actually have good skills you need to have few projects of your own which you have created yourself okay now coming on to position of responsibility as well as achievements so once you are in college there are various clubs or you can say societies in the college right so do participate try to become the core team member of those societies because being in those societies will help you learn the ability of uh, working in a team and also it will help you get some leadership skills because once you work in a team once you organize some event you face issues you uh, try to call a speaker right so that way you are getting some exposure in a way right so this is also definitely very important and obviously you can add some volunteer experiences as well in this particular section or create a separate volunteer experiences section as per your own choice now at the end i have also added an achievement section so what you can do is simply 
राइट इफ यू हैव वॉन एनी कॉम्पिटिशन रिगार्डिंग योर ओन फील्ड और इफ यू हैव क्रैक्ट अ डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम लाइक लेट से जे ई मेन्स और एडवांस सो यू कैन एड सम अचीवमेंट्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू योर ओन प्रोफाइल विच मे हेल्प यू स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम अदर्स राइट सो ऑल दीज सेक्शन कवर द मेजर थिंग्स दैट अ रिक्रूटर और एन एम्प्लॉयर माइट वॉन्ट टू सी इन योर प्रोफाइल और इन योर रिज्यूम में ओके सो do make these changes do follow this template i'll share the link of all the templates that i have shown all the website that i have shown in the description so do check them out now let's discuss some important tips for your resume okay so few people they recommend you to write a summary about your own self about your own career aspirations or stuff like that so usually a person writes stuff like i am a very dedicated person i am a very hard working person and all right so i don't think it really makes you stand out from any other person because this type of summary or objective of your career these things are very common and they do not really make you stand out yeah definitely if you add something really innovative to it and you know which is really written by your own self according to your own career aspirations then it might be suitable for you to add it to your own resume second tip is that some people also suggest you to add the picture to the resume but again this is not a very recommended thing because this doesn't really provide any value to your resume i mean this doesn't add to your skill right and sometimes there comes some bias as well and you might face some issues further in the company when you work so it's recommended not to add your profile pic but again if you want to then you can definitely choose any template like this which has an option of adding the image okay and another important thing is that when i created this get in touch section i should also add the links to these profiles okay so let's say uh, the portfolio right so just highlight this part okay highlight this part in canva and you can choose this you can just click on these three dots and here there is a link button okay so click on it and just enter the link okay and that way whenever the person who is you know reading your resume clicks on this portion like on this uh, portfolio part so that portfolio will open and similarly you can apply the link for github and one thing that i missed is add your linkedin profile okay because linkedin is also very important platform so do add your linkedin profile and again add the link to your linkedin profile as well